So today we're going to be looking at these two loads here. We have the Winchester 2 and 3 quarter inch and the Winchester 3 inch. Uh, they're both identical loads. Just one's got, I'm guessing, a little bit more powder and one's got a little bit more BBs in it. I'm surprised that the 3 inch is slower, but oftentimes we find that the uh, slower load will pattern better. So what we're going to be doing today is running these through a choke tube. We got the Primos Extra Full Turkey Choke 0 0.670 constriction. And uh, we're also using the Winchester SX4. We got the EOTech Sight on there. I think that's the EOTech 512. And I've got the Tacticam 6.0 uh, mount underneath there as well. Really liking the SX4 so far. And uh, when you see the patterning now here, so basically, uh, this is the two and three quarter inch at 20 yards. Both of these targets were shot at 20 yards. The furthest pellets on the two and three quarter inch were 31 and uh, half inches. So this one down here and then this one up here, those were the, the 31 and a half inch apart. The uh, rest of the pellets were pretty close. Um, if you notice the pattern here, we're missing right here quite a few pellets. I'll talk more about that in a bit. Uh, we had 25 pellets on target. We had 50 pellets on the cardboard uh, for a total of 75 BBs. And then when you come look at the other target here, had quite a nice pattern with it. We had this one way up here. That was our, our furthest up top. And then our furthest down low. Uh, still closer than the other one. The other one was 31 and a half. This one was 25 and a half inches for the furthest two BBs. We had 38 BBs versus 25 on target. We had 51 on cardboard versus 50. And we had a total of 89 um, compared to 75. Now, this one here has a very nice pattern all over the entire eight. These are both 8 by 8 inch targets. Um, if you take this one here and we get rid of that pellet there, we slide this target over to here. So let's say we lose one, so we lose that one there, we'll call it. And then we still get one, two, three, four, five, six. We lost one because of this one over here that we, when we slid it. So now we've got an extra six. So on target, you would have had 31 instead of 25. And then over here, we had 38 on target. So we're still better uh, than we are with the two and three quarter inch. But if we do the same thing, if we slide this target over to this line here and we get as many pellets on target as we possibly can, we're going to lose some right on this side here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, or sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, we'll call it, that we'll lose. And then, but when we slide it over, we're going to gain a lot more than eight. So we'll lose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But then we're going to gain one, two, three, four, five, six more um, BBs for sliding it over. So again, we gain the six, and now we're, that puts us up at 44 on target. And then there we would have had 31. So either way, uh, you definitely have a lot more BBs on target with this one, and they're tighter together. Plus you have the, it's a three-inch load, but um, it doesn't really seem it's a slower load so i'm guessing it's got less powder so it doesn't kick like a lot of a three or three and a half inch loads even so take it for what you want I, i'm really happy with that i'm going to be using that for rough gross a lot of people probably wouldn't recommend that i'm going to give it a whirl and uh see how it goes but i think uh if i do have some uh if i have to take a flying shot i've got more bbs with this load so that's going to be nice and at 20 yards, um, basically at 20 yards, there's a little circle in the EOTech and it, it basically lights that right up. The circle fits that eight inch uh, square pretty much perfectly. So it makes aiming quite easy. And these are the, I just shot them how it is. I never actually, they're not actually uh, sighted in for these loads. I've got them sighted in for my Winchester Coyote loads. And yeah, there are three inch as well, but it seems to pattern quite well at, at 20 yards with both of these loads, just slightly off to one side or the other. But nice being able to use a different load and not have to recite everything in. Anyways, I hope you found this helpful. And 
uh, stay tuned for more reviews.